Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Whitney. This is with Sheree Beauty and I am so excited. Today we are going to play with the new Anastasia foundation and setting powder. I got the setting powder and translucent and I am 315 in in the new foundation. Now I have worn this a couple times but I haven't actually like done a wear test and seen how it works um, throughout the day so we are going to do that today and I am so excited. Alright so I am going to take a pump on my beauty blender like always and we're just going to do one side of my face. And this foundation is so stinking pretty. Also, I have the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette on my eyes today. And this is the first time that I've really, really worn it. And it's so pretty. So, if we want a whole review tutorial on that, let me know. Because that can happen. I really like that she made that palette more affordable, but her quality is so good. All right. Take that down my neck, do my ear. So this is one layer on this side of my face, Ooh, out of focus, <laughs> this is the side of no foundation, it is beautiful. I'm going to see if we can build it up a little bit more in this area, which is my problem area. I really like that this isn't emphasizing my pores. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dogs, they behave themselves all morning and now they decide they want to act crazy. Alright, so that is what we got that did build up beautifully. I definitely say it is a high medium coverage though. I wouldn't say it's full. I can still see just like some of my pigmentation that I have here coming through. It's not bad. It's nothing that I I don't like. Alright, so I'm gonna take what we have left and we'll start on this side. I think this foundation is so pretty. Alright, I'm going to take another pump and a half. And we'll finish off this side. I'm really really excited about all of the foundation launches coming out because everybody who knows me knows I am a foundation hoarder. I am obsessed with foundation. I feel like everybody who loves makeup, everybody hoards eyeshadow palettes. Everybody. Anybody who loves makeup hoards eyeshadow palettes. But then there's one thing other than the huge amount of eyeshadow palettes that everybody has that every makeup lover hoards. Mine is foundation. If you Yeah, so I need everybody to tell me 
what theirs is in the comments down below because I want to know I'm genuinely interested do you think that that is true everybody has a like my friend hers is primers she has a like drawer full of primers um mine is definitely foundation so other than eyeshadow palettes what do you think what makeup product do you think you hoard the most All right. Now that we got that done. Out of focus. Oh my goodness. Okay. What do we think? It is so you can see the glow. It's so pretty. Okay. I am going to go in with my Stay Naked concealer. I've been obsessed with this concealer. Today when I'm filming this video, the Stay Naked Concealer and Foundation Review is live right now. So I will link that below in the description box if you guys have not seen that yet. It is interesting all right and just go in and blend that out and then I am just going to see how everything blends on top of that we're gonna do that together And then I will finish up my eyes and we will decide what we think so far. It is an art for me to try to film without having my mirror in front of my face all day. <laughs> so is it flesh beauty flesh i, I want to say yes i tried their little tiny foundation stick it was actually one of the first like foundation fridays that i ever did back when i used to do them like on my personal facebook page and they just released a liquid foundation and i think i'm gonna go grab that today because i'm super excited their little tiny stick foundation it was interesting it was interesting so i'm excited to try their liquid i am gonna go in with the huda beauty tantor in the shade light i am obsessed with this like you can see the indent i use this every day every day it is gorgeous and it just blends out so beautifully and so easy and then I just place it and then I go back in with my beauty blender and I just blend it out and it's just so beautiful it's you blue that's my dog I don't know what he is in there doing I don't know what he is in there doing jumping around like a crazy person into the hairline okay and then it looks crazy now we're gonna take a beauty blender and blend it out
see how beautiful? Oh, I love this stuff. Okay. And then we are going to try out the Anastasia powder. Now, like I said, I've tried this before. I have some thoughts, but I haven't worn it like for a whole day and really paid attention to it. So we're going to do that today. I'm just going to take some on my beauty blender and place that under the eyes. And I set my whole face because I am oily. So if I don't set my face, my foundation will slide around all day. You know what? See, this is why I like trying stuff more than once. Because the last week when I wore this powder, I was not a fan, honestly. But my face was like having a really weird week and it was just like not wanting to do anything. I broke out really bad, which is finally clearing up, thank goodness. So it was just a weird week for my face and maybe that's just what it was. Yeah, how pretty. This looks really nice right now. Okay, let's go in with some bronzer. I've been using this Too Faced Little Black Book bronzers again. I wish they would come out with an updated one, honestly, because this one's old. We're not gonna talk about how old this one is and how used it is. And I'm gonna go in with the shade in the summer, which you can tell is my absolute favorite shade. And I'm gonna go in with this Morphe PK4. I'm just gonna re-bronze where we lost a little bit of that. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty powder in banana bread because this is literally the only powder I use to clean up right here because it's colored just enough to clean this area up and make it so pretty. Also, I'm not a huge fan of this powder for anything else, so I feel like I need to get some type of use out of it. So we will let that sit for a minute. And I'm going to use my Alamar Blush Trio in the shade Medium Tan. Pretty much as always, I love this shade. And I'm going to go in with the shade is like right in the middle. This is my favorite blush, honestly. It's just so pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to take my E48 powder brush and just sweep that away. All right, much, much better. 
We need some highlights. And I am going to go in with my Moon Prism Powder in the shade Venus. I've been wearing this one a lot lately. I'm usually obsessed with Mercury, but this one has been... This one's been it for me lately. If I can find my highlighting brush. There we go. All right, and this is just a BH Cosmetics brush. How, oh, it's so beautiful. Manny's highlighters are my favorite highlighters ever, honestly. Look at that glow. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, why is my stomach growling like that? <laughs> Probably because I'm starving and I haven't eaten all day, huh? Alright, so that is what we got. I am going to go finish my eyes, put on mascara, and then <laughs> then I will be back. Alright, we are back. Face is finished. Put some Kush mascara on. A little Jeffree Star mannequin liquid lipstick. I am going to zoom us in so we can see the whole face. Forehead. All right. That is what we got going on right now. I have some errands to run. It is 12 o'clock. Um, and then I have to work tonight until 1030. So I will check in throughout the day and we will see how it is going. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys! Alright, this is the very first check-in. It is 4.43. So I've had this on for a little bit over five hours and it is still looking pretty good. We're gonna ignore this right here. I picked up my face right there. I know, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. It was bugging me though. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see up close. what it's looking like my forehead my chin so this is what we look like a little over five hours I am getting ready to go to work and then when I get back home tonight I will show you guys the final check-in and let you know what I think all right bye okay so this day has been long, long, long. It is 11.04 at night. I just got home from work. I have not touched my makeup all day, so I haven't touched up anything, anything like that. I have had the Anastasia foundation on for almost 12 hours. And I mean, I'm pretty impressed. We have some wear on my nose. I'm gonna zoom you in. It sheared out a little bit. I have like a little bit missing here, but really for the most part, it's just sheared. So I lost some coverage, but it didn't like get patchy and weird. My forehead still looks great. I got a little bit oily, which is normal for me because I do have oily skin. But for the most part, it looks gorgeous. So this foundation is definitely a win for me, which is so exciting because the foundations I have been trying lately have just been amazing. Anastasia did a amazing job with this foundation and the powder the powder lasted 
beautifully throughout the day and had I touched up at least once with this powder like throughout my almost 12 hours of wear my I don't think my face would have been oily at all so I'm really impressed don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let's see tell me where you're from I want to know where everybody's from so leave that in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video bye